Hey, how's it going? Good to have you back and welcome to Live Another Life series. And it's time to look at another camping mod. And so far in this playthrough, we've looked at the Haven's Bag and Staff of Shalador, which are two really, really good mods. Then we looked at the most excellent complete camping system mod, which is a real camping experience rather than two former, which are effectively portable homes. And now we're going to take a look at a camping mod which kind of bridges the two types. And this is Draco's remake of Her Bones Skyrim Adventures Tent. And he's called it Draco's Pack Rats Portable Tent. I've uh, got to say, Draco's definitely one of my, my personal favourite modders in Skyrim. Uh, as far as this tent goes, there are two sizes, but we'll only be looking at the large tent in this showcase. And if you want the large tent, follow the link um, to the Nexus mods and go into the file section. There you'll have the choice of the two tents. Sadly, I don't think this is an option for X Xbox One. Also, there are a couple of other mods required to make this work, so please read the descriptions on the page links when you go to them. Okay, so here we are at my campsite, and uh, it's very, very simple to get this set up. Unlike the complete camping system, uh, you literally just go into your spells, and conjuration, and you summon your tent. And that's about the uh, limit of your camping experience you're going to get with this mod. Okay, let's take a little walk in. Oh, bef uh, FYI, you also get a fast travel point when you set this up as well. Now that is something I wish the complete camping set had. That's really, really useful. Okay, let's take a walk in. Okay, I'll let the camera do the talking uh, on this first part and then we'll do a little walk around at the end. So cue the music.
Okay, let's have a little look at this thing. Uh, take a little wander around. It's got the general stores, so there's a place you can dump everything in. It auto sorts, it's cloud based, which is pretty cool. Actually, it does make life a lot easier. And you can access that all over the, uh, the home. And you've got a plethora of mannequins and weapon racks. Um, a lot of this is static uh, stuff, but uh, it also engages with the uh, general stores as well. And it adds to the ambience of the, of the place as well. Lots of bookshelves. Now, the panic button, I'm not a thousand percent sure of exactly what that does, so you have to discover that for yourself. But there is a beware um, or, um, uh, a warning on it. Uh, the seller will have a look at that in... Uh, system we'll have a look at that later on there's four beds for followers and if you use them you get the well rested bonus I'm not sure if they're for children or followers I'm not 100% sure okay so we obviously got a little bit in the corner here I can't exactly work out what that's for I thought it's for a shower but um, if there is I couldn't find the button for it Again, these are all storage. Um, wood chopping as well. Not you really need that much in this kind of camping. Um, way in to go. And just here is a trapdoor that goes to White Run. It actually goes just above the stables. There's a water vent there, water gate. Uh, it lands you there. I'm not 100% sure why that's there. Full smithing. Again, all the, the smithing storage is here as well as much as you need well actually indeed everything you need I and mean, this is why I love Draco mods um, oh yeah you've got a light switch here and they're dotted all around the place as well which is a nice touch you know, like I say this is why I love Draco mods he, the attention to detail is brilliant Absolutely spot on. I actually use several of these mods. And you notice when I do my, my final home, which will be Lakeview Manor, um, I use his mod as like a, a surrounding fortress. Loads of bookshelves. Though I do prefer the open bookshelves actually. So when you do collect all the books, you can actually see them. And the alchemist mortar, by the way, you can grind up mammoth tusks and stuff like that. Tons and tons of storage. Yeah, bookshelves. So you can see the theme for this is about sorting out your gear. End table, light switch there. And double check the bed, sleep for an hour. And you get the well rested bonus. Now the real one thing I love about it, I love this whole mod actually, I think it's absolutely excellent. It's, it's, uh, it's not camping, let's be absolutely honest. It's a player home you can put anywhere. Um, is the fact that you can have a fast travel point to it. As well, which was the one weakness of the uh, complete camping system. Okay, oh, bookshelf, enchanting stores, arcane enchanter. Look at that mortar we use to grind mammoth tusks into powder or skulls into bone mill. There you go, that's what it's for. And your potion stores. I mean, this this uh, this mod has absolutely everything you'll ever need, unless of course you want a family, uh, and I'm not 100% sure how good this would be for a family. 
Now, I haven't checked it, but I'm guessing this is possible you could pitch this in a, in a cave somewhere as well. No reason why not. If you pitch this in a city, there may be a chance you'll be trespassing uh, and get fined by the guards and arrested by the guards. So, double check that. Do a save before you put it in the city. With a complete camping guide, you can do that. You've got an option to turn that on and off. So you could park yourself in a corner of um, uh, White Run or Markarth or wherever you want to be. But I don't think that's the case with this mod. But it's excellent, isn't it? Absolutely excellent. There are smaller versions, as I mentioned in the introduction. Uh, so if you go into Nexus, you can get that off... Um, uh, the Bethesda site or Nexus you go into the files section and choose which version you want unfortunately the smaller version is the only one op open to Xbox users as far as I'm aware I couldn't find this version and turn your light switch on and off there you go and you've got all your stores down here now this is a panic button I was talking about. Um, resetting lists in Skyrim can be somewhat flaky. It's highly recommended after purging to save a game and reload. So, yeah. Use that one with caution. And you've got all your storage down here. Nice little touch. Not 100% sure if you need this system because you've got it all upstairs, or it could be your one stop shop, I guess. So hopefully you're understanding now what I mean between this is the kind of bridge between, uh, say, the complete camping system and, uh, say, the staff for Shadow or the Haven bag. Uh, it, it gives you a bigger, more static home, and yes, it's kind of camping as well, but it's not really camping. So for the current time, um, I may start using this uh, in the near future, but uh, I'm sticking with uh, proper camping. Now this is excellent with the potion stores, you can do distillation, which means you get a whole load of weaker potions and distill them into um, like the ultimate uh, health or magicka or stamina or whatever, so dead handy. So you won't have to carry like 30 uh, small health potions, you can distill them down into ultimate health potions, dead handy. That's your sorting chest there. I think you can tell I, I do like this uh, this mod. And you've got a kitchen. And the only thing about the kitchen, it doesn't have uh, an oven. So, but apart from that, actually, you don't need another home in Skyrim if, if you, unless you're going for the whole family thing. So, uh, yeah, I think it's a typical Draco mod, which is high standard, high quality. Everything's been thought of. Absolutely superb. And I, as usual, would always recommend his mods. So, uh, I hope you enjoyed this, guys. Hope you found it useful. Catch you later. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, leave a comment, and please do subscribe. If you'd like to see more videos like this, then push the bell next to the subscribe button after you subscribe, obviously. Later.